Hey everyone, what is going on? This is Eric and I want to talk to you about a very serious topic. You know, we all had this idea, like amazing idea, like a one billion dollar idea that we had, but we always were afraid that someone is going to take it away from us or even worse, someone actually did. Like you thought about this idea and a few years later you see this and you say, oh my God, that was my idea. Someone stole this idea from me, even though you didn't talk about it with anyone or you did, but it feels very uncomfortable. So if you want to launch a product and and you do think it's a good idea, you have this fear inside of you that someone is going to steal your idea. And the question, the topic of this video is how you can validate your idea without anyone stealing it, okay? So there is one thing that you really need to know in order to make sure that nobody steal your idea. But to be honest, if I'm truly being honest, like brutally honest as I can, I think this entire thing is bullshit, okay? This is all about execution. Ideas are shit, ideas are nothing, and they're worthless to the wrong people, okay? If you're the right person, then this idea is a goldmine for you, okay? You've had these ideas before that you've seen someone else is taking, someone else executing. They're worth nothing to you, and they're worth gold to the person who executed them. Uh, you can look at so many products where there are multiple products in the market. Someone did it right, someone did it wrong, someone didn't do it. So for the people who didn't do it, it's worth nothing. It's all about execution, really. There are so many good ideas out there and I'll give you some ideas. Like I have an idea, let's have an app that allow people to, I don't know, rent their parking spots in major cities around the world. Something like, I don't know, like Uber just for your parking spot. Just do that. Like very simple, great idea, can make tons of money. It's worth nothing to me because I'm not doing anything about it. Someone is going to do it. It's just a matter of time. The person who's going to do it is going to make shit tons of money. So if you want to do it, do it. Are you stealing my idea? Are you going to build this app? Probably not, right? So don't be afraid talking about your product. Don't be afraid sharing your ideas. It's fine. Other people are busy with their shit. They really don't care about your idea. If you believe it, if you think it's good, don't worry about people stealing it. Worry about making sure that it's a good idea, validating it, and then executing it. Okay, but now this tip was very kind of woohoo type of spiritual or let's say more uh, psychological. But since this is a practical channel for practical people, let's just dive into the practical part of this advice. We need to understand how to actually validate an idea first before we even talk about how to do it without people stealing it. So okay, let's assume that you already have an idea. If you don't already have an idea, uh, th this is not the right video for you. Luckily for you, there is a video here we made about how to find ideas for different SaaS products. So you can watch it, check it out. Uh, if you already have an idea and you want to validate it, uh, you need to start by asking yourself two questions. One, who is your customer? And second, where is your customer? Okay, so once you understand where your customer is, go there. If it's Facebook groups, Discord, Quora, Reddit, I don't know, um, TikTok, I don't know. Just go wherever they are, even if it's in person, if it's live events, whatever. Go to these people and start talking to them. Once you understand where your customers are, go there. Okay, talk to them, understand the pain point you're trying to solve, understand ideally for them what it should look like. And this is how you want to build your product. If you see that you talk about the pain and they really say something like, oh, I would definitely pay for this. This is definitely something I need to solve. This is not something like if you talk to them and you identify that it's a good fit for all of them and not just, you know, a small portion of them. I mean, it depends on the size of the market, but let's assume it's kind of a small market. If it's only solving the problem for a few of them, maybe it's not a good idea. If it's solving the problem to all of them, great idea go for it and then second is what's their willingness to pay like is this a true problem they're willing to pay to solve or it's not such a big deal and they're willing to do it on their own even if it's take them a little bit longer to do it or more effort now what you want to do is really start a conversation and you can go there are a few ways to go about it interviews are always a good thing you can either let's say it's a facebook group start a conversation on messenger with your potential customers ask them some questions some guiding questions for you to understand what it needs to look like and again this is all private it, so nobody's going to steal anything away from you and you can search for specific topics or specific posts around the solution you're trying to solve and reach out to these specific customers talk to them potential customers and kind of let them guide you through the process okay so this is uh, one way to start a conversation you can also run some bots that allows you again we have another video about it it's called it's about how to generate free leads check it out in here again some good tips there on how to create an automation around it so you can reach out to move 
multiple people in Facebook groups or, or other channels as well and talk to them, uh, start a conversation this way on Bulk. And you can also have some sort of a survey if you wanna send them to the survey and help them, I don't know, let them answer the questions in this way. You're gonna have a little bit more quantitative information, like take this survey and get, I don't know, $20 gift card on Amazon. That can also be very effective. Another way to automate the process would be to understand, again, where your customers are but in a platform form, okay? If you build a product for merchants, then they're probably on Shopify or Magento or Wix or WooCommerce. If you build uh, something for designers, they're probably on Jira or on Adobe or something. If you build something for developers, they're probably on Jira. I know there are other tools, but probably they're using, I, I'm not a developer, so I don't know. Designers are probably on Figma or on Adobe. Pretty much all businesses are using either Slack or Teams and uh, everyone is using Gmail or Google and all of these different tools that I just mentioned have app stores where you can connect different tools or different services to the same platform. Now, the way for you to really automate and understand pain points on a macro level without having to interview people one by one is just using autocompletes, collections, etc. Okay, if you just go to any of these app stores, I'm going to show you a few examples in a second and just type in whatever you want, you're going to see autocompletes. These autocompletes are pain points that customers are typing because they're looking for a solution for. Okay, so again, you can find out this way also if there are also competitors or alternative solutions to yourself and learn from them or decide if it's a good fit to get in or it's too late. Let me show you some example. Okay, now again, as I mentioned, right now I'm on Shopify and I can type in anything I want just by clicking here. This is, this is my search history, but just by clicking here, I can type in anything I want and I'm gonna see some sort of autocompletes. Now these autocompletes are probably here because they are being searched the most on the app store, which means these are pains that customers, merchants in this case are looking for. If I go to the Slack app store, if I just do BI, I can see that I have some autocompletes and based on that, I can come up with some ideas. Now, these autocompletes are not for search terms, they're only for apps. But let's see if I search for a term, what else can I get from this market? I can get birthday. For example, let's say that you want to build service related to birthday. I see that there are only five apps on Slack or six that are actually mentioning birthday here, which means if you want to build an app related to birthdays on Slack, there is not much competition. So yeah, this is just an idea. And again, you can look on, let's say, your app store. Let's see if they have anything. I'm not even, not on the App Store, Atlassian Marketplace. I'm not a developer. I'm not even using Jira. I'm just giving you another example. I don't know. Uh, let's say Git. I, I honestly have no idea what I'm searching. All right. So yeah, I see a lot of uh, different solutions. So, so yeah, they don't have an autocomplete, but I see for the search Git, they have 215 search results. We can maybe have a look at different collections here as well. Server Cloud. Yeah, this is kind of hard for me because I, I'm not familiar with developer environments, but in most App Stores, you can find different collections and way for you to gather a lot of information from these places. Now, another way for you, and by the way, you can also look at reviews and understand like what's popular and what's not. Good way for you, and, and again, this is maybe if you're a developer or if you have developers in your team, is to build some sort of a script that's going to allow you to run all these searches and get the results. So for example, if I search for A, or oh, that's an S, so for S, I have more than 1,000 results. Now let's say I do a, actually that's not a, with Jira specifically, maybe it's not a, a good idea, but let's search for a different keyword that are, I'm gonna follow up the birthday example. So birthday here, we have four results related. If we go to birthday here, we have a little more, but if you take all the results you're getting, you can ask a developer to run a script to check all the results available from given keywords, or if you have autocompletes, then the autocomplete themselves. Let's try birthday in here. So within Shopify, yeah, we have 103 results. So you can type in your ideas in the main keywords of your idea in multiple app stores uh, that are relevant for your customers and see what the results are. Gather some um, information from there. You can also reach out to the people who left reviews there if there are businesses or whatever and try and talk to them and again, ask them what's good, what's not good, how they would like it to do. And this is how you can kind of elaborate on your validation process. Okay, so these are a few ways to look at it in a very macro way. Now let's say that you want to go a little bit deeper. You want to get customers to actually sign up to the product and actually want to try it before 
there's even a product before you invested a lot of money in development or building it or specifying it or whatever which we have tons of videos about as well like this is the video about products building product specifications this is the video about how to hire developers there's all over the place in this channel it's 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 good for you so check it out subscribe whatever you want but if if you want a better tactic to really test the waters what you can do is just build some sort of a fake landing page you can use click funnels you can use tons of other free landing page builders you can use wix you can use whatever you want tons of tools to build free landing pages okay and then you want to build a landing page and pretend like your product exists okay make it like i don't know a screenshot or an illustration explaining what a product does who it refers to what the pricing is everything you can really build one page that explains everything about the product and how it works even though it doesn't exist okay then just add like get started button or get free trial button and whenever someone click this what you want to do is just say hey it's being released soon give us your email and we're going to notify you once it's out okay then first you're going to build a list of people who are interested in your product you know what even if people feel like they're a little bit misled here and they don't sign up you can still see how many people on google analytics how many people click the get started button which means they were interested in the product okay so you can advertise it in all of these places and let people actually you know interact with this product that you've built and see how many of them are interested if you see that people are not signing up maybe it's not a good idea maybe you should check out what was wrong see it's a good fit or not or tweak it if needed if you see that people are signing up you see that out of the amount of visitor you get you get good enough conversion rate like a few percentages is okay then it means that you are onto something and maybe it's a good idea to start building it okay and also this way you're going to build a list so that whenever it goes out you're going to have customers from day one so this is how you validate it in, in a way that is very lean okay it's very lean you don't have to do anything you're going to see the results right away now after we gave you all the tactics there is one thing that i want to get back to and this is the core of this video i think it's really the most important thing the, the one thing you need to know in order to make sure that nobody steals your idea and Understand again that everything but execution is bullshit. Don't worry about talking to people about your idea. People are busy with their own shit. Most people don't care about either opening a businesses or if they did open a business already and they hear your idea, there is 0% chance they're going to leave whatever their businesses are doing and steal your idea. First of all, most people are lazy. You need to understand that whenever you think about an idea, you're really like stewing it over time. You, you build it and you think about it and you analyze it. Then when you go to start a conversation with someone else, the chance for him to be in the same readiness that you are in and and the, the chances are that he's going to really start thinking on it and decide to execute on it is slim to none it's really nothing so have this in mind no one think it's a good idea it's your idea you're thinking it okay worldwide maybe but the chances are that these are going to be the people you're talking to probably zero okay most people have their own craziness going on in life they have their own priorities and your idea is just not the one thing that's going to say oh my god fuck it i'm, I'm just going to take his idea and, and execute it instead of him it's just unrealistic and even if they do they're probably going to think that you're so much far ahead of them that it doesn't make sense or you know what even better maybe they're gonna want to partner up with you which is also a good idea maybe it's your customer that wants to partner up with you and so that you can execute better on the product just giving you some thoughts about it but again it's mental it's not really something that you need to be worried about worry about doing the things you need to do and um yeah the last thing i think you need to understand that before you make money really nobody gives a shit about your idea okay once your product starts generating revenue suddenly you're going to see tons of copycats like we have a few products we built after it went live suddenly there are tons of people building the exact same product because it didn't exist before but before that nobody thought it's like i i i'll give you an example reconvert our number one product we've been like when i was building shopify store with my previous partner we were talking about like yeah we need to build the thank you page upsell we were talking about it for ages but we never actually did it we never actually the decided you know what let's do this let's put uh let, let's take a few months and do nothing but this and put all of our efforts and money and and everything onto this okay it's just it's not something that you're going to do you have your own stuff and you're on it even if you have a good idea you can tell it's a good idea but from 
understanding that it's a good idea all the way to executing and spending a few months on it, whole other story, okay? And there are actually a few people that did something similar. It wasn't good. I knew we can do it better. So we started executing and once we did, suddenly the entire world is chasing our tails. But again, don't worry about it. Until you make money, nobody gives a shit about your product, okay? I hope that helps. Don't worry about talking to people. Yeah, in short, again, just worry about competitors after you go live, not before. Before you go live, there is no competitors. They're just you with your ideas. Don't worry about anyone stealing it. Also, check out our other video about building specification document, as I mentioned, right here. Or if you want to check out the video about how to generate free leads, right here. Check it out. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.